So Homeland Security and Policing, one of seven show sections at Intersect 2019, uh, early next year in the Dubai World Trade Center. Uh, one of these 100, more than 100, is of course Gatekeeper from the USA, a manufacturer of automatic under-vehicle inspection systems, uh, automatic license plate readers, and uh, driver-focused camera systems. And I have with me Colin Brown, the general manager of Gatekeeper in the security, uh, Gatekeeper Security Middle East, sorry. Uh, Colin, thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Um, First of all, you've been in the, uh, the region uh, as gatekeeper, you've had an office here for, uh, I guess, the best part of sort of eight, eight years, isn't, isn't it? Yeah, almost, yeah. Um, if you can give us an overview of your, uh, your activities here in the Middle East region. Yeah, certainly. So, gatekeeper security, as you, you mentioned, we do automatic under vehicle inspection systems, intelligent license plate recognition systems, and we have uh, a fairly new product called intelligent vehicle occupant detection systems. And that allows us to see inside the vehicle as it's moving through the windscreen and capture all the, the occupants and run it through facial recognition systems. Now, having that product portfolio for this re region is, is extremely beneficial because we've all seen all these vehicle security entry points leading into various different verticals and different facilities. So the demand is quite high. And over the years, we've seen quite a change in, in the way the market and the way the buying patterns of the end users and what they focus on and what they don't focus on. And it's been very exciting for Gatekeeper anyway. And we've grown quite a lot over the years okay. being here. And of course, uh, you set up the office here, um, heading the region um, as a general manager. Um, you have a training facility here yes. to, so that end users can come and see your products yes. uh, and use, inspect them, you train them on the, on the products. How important is that sort of element of the business to, to your success in the region? It is absolutely, it's everything. It's so vital. When, when an end user, when they're actually committing to a product, they need to be sure that that product is going to work. So they need to come and test the product. So we have our training and proof of concept center in this facility here, where we allow the, the or we encourage the end users to come and test the product. Don't, don't believe what we say. Come and test a product, hide things in the vehicle, jump inside the car, change the license plates round about, test our product to make sure it works and make sure it gives you your security function. And we have a, a strong engineering base here as well. So we do, once a month, we're, we're training all of our partners throughout the region, they all come here, and we have a very strong connection with our partners which then gives us that, that fantastic name within the market. It's not just about how good your product is, it's about how good you support the end users, how good you support your partners. And you can only do that here. You have to be here, your engineers have to be here, and you have to be ready to support at the drop of a hat. And that's what makes a difference. Okay. Um, everything is still manufactured in the USA apart from the steel elements of, of your products. That correct. Yes, correct. I mean, it just logically, it makes sense to have the steel here because we can move it very quickly. Oil electronics, United States. All right, sure. Are you able to provide any sort of examples of these end users, your end, end user market and, and channel partners that you work, work with quite closely in the region? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're very selective in who we bring on as partners because it's, it's very important because they're out there representing your brand. So there's, we probably refuse more than what we take on, to be honest. And we don't want to flood the market. So... We, we tend to deal with like, high-profile security integrators um, that have a very, very strong presence within their country or across the region. And that works for us. Occasionally, we'll, we'll deal with, uh, we, we have smaller entities, but it's all about how strong they are and how they support their end users. So that, that's how we select our partners. But what's, what's important as a manufacturer as well is to reach out to the end users, make sure the end users un fully understand and appreciate the products and what we're trying to do, how we're trying to help them. And we can only develop these vehicle security entry points for the end users when we understand what the operational requirements are, what's our challenges. And then we help them to develop a solution that meets their security functionality and allows different operational functions to to move forward. Sure. Uh, you mentioned before that this region, at least, um, contributes quite a lot uh, to your global revenue at Gatekeeper. Um, in the future, you're planning on opening an office 
two offices, East Africa Correct. and uh, and Southeast Asia, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore. Yes. Um, you've also mentioned these, these these markets are obviously key growth markets for, for Gatekeeper on a global level. Uh, tell us what's so appealing about these markets as for, for Gatekeeper. Well, we're seeing, we're seeing a trend and globally, there's a trend here just now that people seem to be focusing on AI, which is fantastic for the market. And that in turn is, is leading to end users securing borders, securing critical national infrastructure facilities. And when they're looking at these vital, important locations, they, they're, they're leaning on AI, and which is fantastic for the industry, it's fantastic for the market. And within the Middle East, and within Asia in particular, they are, they are very focused on this, and they're smart people. So they're, they're very focused on, on getting the AI technology that's in the market, finding the best of breed technologies that are actually bringing that into their product portfolio, and then delivering a solution that actually meets what they want and Middle East, I've seen a big change. There the really are, the end users are becoming focused on what they want. The Asian market, the APAC, they're smart, they always have been. But they, they are now beginning to know, really, I want to use these, these, these AI intelligences in the market and bring it into my solutions. And they're now running POCs. So what Gatekeeper does complements that. And we are very focused on bringing that into our platforms. Um, which is which is great for us. Dubai Expo 2020 is just around the corner, um, just over a year away. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, this must be quite um, must have quite a big impact on, on your business. Would it, would that be the case? And in homeland security in general, I guess. I mean, millions of visitors yeah. coming to to Dubai for that particular event. Um, what sort of impact will this have for for Gatekeeper? Yeah, totally great. It's a very exciting time for for Dubai and for the UAE, uh, bringing the Dubai Expo 2020, and. I mean, in itself is, is about technology. And I, I'm, I'm sure, and, and I know that the, the people over at Dubai Expo 2020 are, are very sharp people. They, they know what they want, and they are looking at what is in the market. What is in the market, and how can I have the best holistic security solution for Dubai 2020, which is based on the, on the presence of using AI. So that can only be good for the industry because they are pushing the boundaries on using AI within their solution, their security solution. So yeah, very exciting times, and it's a great opportunity for companies like Gatekeeper, and we are, we are developing our new multi-factor intelligent security platform for these types of events, for these types of requirements for these types of border solutions that require smart gate, smart lane solutions. And this is bringing in all of our automatic under vehicle inspection, our intelligent license plate recognition, our intelligent vehicle occupant detection with facial recognition, and automatic make, model and color of, of a vehicle. And so there's, there's many different platforms there, but we bring it all together. So it's and it's all about a security function. Is that vehicle safe? Is there anything under the vehicle? Is that license plate approved to enter? Is that person driving the car and the passengers approved to enter? Is that license plate that's on the car on the, on the correct make and model of a vehicle? So we're bringing all these different solutions together and providing this full actionable intelligence solution, which is exactly what Expo 2020 is looking for governments are looking for, militaries, oil and gas facilities, where they really need to be on the ball and focused on providing the correct security solution. Okay, sure. Um, <clears throat> now, you've been exhibiting at Intersec for quite a few years now, um, I believe six, six or seven years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since, you, since you've sort of established yeah. a presence in the region that sort of yes. coincided with exhibiting at Intersec itself. Yes. Um, and I'm quite interested in this uh, intelligent vehicle occupant uh, detection system um, yeah. that will be on show at Intersec. Yeah, well, 100%. Um, and th the plan is we will have we'll have an actual vehicle on on the stand. The vehicle will have tinted windows, and we will be encouraging people to come inside the car. We will be demoing the camera as it captures through the windscreen. The human eye cannot see through that windscreen. You won't be able to see who's inside that car. But our 
system, our intelligence, will be able to capture that person, run it through facial recognition, capture the license plate. We can then create different scenarios of alarm generation or approval generation automatically. So we'll be showing all of that at the, at the show. That's certainly something to, to look forward to, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, how important has the show been in terms of you reaching your target market um, when we're talking about the end users, uh, I, I guess government, military, oil and gas in particular, um, but also your channel partners. Um, has the show been quite useful to that end? And, um, and finally, next year, early next year in, in Dubai, um, who would you like to meet and from where? The Intersex show is, is the best show to be at. Uh, we have been there, as you say, for, for many, many years. We do a few shows, but that one is by far the best. You're, you get, the reach is amazing. You, you're getting end users, you're getting consultants, you're getting security integrators, you're getting to see people coming, all your partners across the region, coming to see us, understanding more about the new technologies that we have. So from, from a, a growth, growth perspective, it allows us to get out and touch the end users who are thinking about new solutions, partners who didn't fully un understand what the new solutions are and then bringing them together so as we can keep on pushing towards the market. It's an it's a incredible show that allows us to do that. Mm. And um, it's, it's a global show, it's a leading one internationally in terms of uh, well, exhibit numbers, um, but in terms of your growth markets, obviously Middle East, GCC is key, mm -hmm. um, and then Africa and, and Southeast Asia. I suppose that'll be, you'll be quite like to see yes. integrators from these countries come, come to yes, the show. Yes, 100%. I mean, we, we have our office here. This is the, the HQ for Africa, Middle East and Asia. And we have a, an office in uh, KSA in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, where we have engineers based there as well with our country director. And we're setting up the new office in Asia Pacific. So we'd love to see end users from that region. I've been going back and forth into Asia Pacific, into Africa, and, and kind of drumming up the interest. But what will be really encouraging is to get these people to come and see us and really start to understand more about what we do. Colin, thank you very much, and we'll see you in a couple of months time. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Cheers.